In order to properly play an instrument, one has to keep up with the proper hand positioning. The way you lay your hands on the instrument or the way you hold the instrument plays a very important role in your playing overall. After knowing the sitting posture, we must move on to the position of our hands on the Mohan Veena. As we have known earlier, the right hand is the hand to plug the strings. And here is how we position the right hand on the Mohan Veena. After putting on the pegs and the thumb, put your pinky fingers standing straight on the pig guard. Remember, the pinky finger should be standing straight, it's mandatory. It shouldn't be bent at any level. Not like this or this, just straight. Now make sure that your palm doesn't touch the strings. It basically should be your pinky finger holding your hand over the strings. After positioning your right hand, put the right elbow on the tabli for a little support so that your pinky finger doesn't get too much pressure of the hand because in that condition you might have a hard time balancing your hand over the instrument. Remember, do not put too much pressure while taking the elbow support against the tabli because if you do so, your hand is not going to be free enough. Having the position right on, we make the stroke. In the beginning, you will face difficulties holding on to the position while making the strokes, but do not worry, it will be fine with times. Remember, the much you practice is the much you get better. Moving on to the left hand. The position of the left hand is pretty much free because it's free to move in the air. The technique is used in holding the steel bar. This is how we position the steel bar in the left hand. See the space between the thumb and the index finger. What you need to do is lift your index finger upwards a little and place the steel bar in that space and hold it by putting pressure against both of the bar's ends with the thumb and the middle finger like this. Keep it tight enough to avoid the bar from falling down. Now slightly put down the index finger and keep it against the steel bar like this. Make sure that you hold the bar tight enough with only the middle finger and thumb. Do not, I repeat, do not try to hold the bar with any other fingers. The rest of the fingers will just lie down. So this is how you position the steel bar in your left hand. Before we move on to actual playing and practice some of the basic exercises, we must know how to tune the instrument. Now, tuning an Indian classical instrument can be a little complex, because the tuning basically changes with every piece of music, or specifically speaking in the Indian classical music language, it changes according to the raga we are going to play on the instrument. We will study about ragas in further chapters. Despite that, we will learn to tune the instrument on a normal tuning. So we are not going to discuss tuning the sympathetic strings, just the melody and drone strings. Moving on with that, Indian classical instruments are always tuned in a particular key. We choose a key out of seven keys, C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. And whatever suits the best, we tune our instruments according to that key. So we are going to tune our Mohan Veena 
in the key of D. Here goes. Take a regular guitar tuner, or if you don't have it, you can use a guitar tuner application from your smartphone. First, we will tune the melody strings. Tune the baud string at D4. The punchum string at A3. The courage string at D3. The Mandra Pancham string at A2. Now we will tune the Chikari strings. We count the drone strings from back here rather than counting them from here. So the first Chikari string the Choti Chikari will be tuned up to D5. The Buddy Chikari will be tuned up to D4. The third Chikari string will be tuned up to an A3. The fourth Chikari string will be tuned up to a G flat 3, or we also call it an F sharp 3. And the last Chikari string will be tuned up to a D flat 4, or we also call it a C sharp 4. So we will start to practice the Mohan Veena with this standard tuning of the Mohan Bina. <laughs> 